Hello everyone, this is Alan from UsefulEquations.com and I have a tutorial that I'd like to share with you on how to use the HP35S calculator. It has 200 equations programmed in it from my book Useful Equations for HP35S or HP33S calculator for the civil PE exam. I already showed you on how to program an equation from my previous video and right now I'm going to show you on how to use them. I have a sample problem here. It's a geotechnical and the problem is a representative soil specimen collected from the field has a moist density of 115 pounds per cubic foot. The moisture content as determined in the laboratory is 10 percent and the specific gravity is 2.7 the dry density, void ratio, porosity, and degree of saturation are most nearly. And here is my hand calculation for that problem. I already calculated the dry density, void ratio, and porosity, and finally degree of saturation. Now to use the HP35S with my equations here's how we uh, do it alright first turn on the uh, calculator by pressing C button and go to the equation list by pressing the uh, EQN button and for the uh, dry density we use equation number 9 to solve it so scroll to equation number 9 7, 8, 9 there you go that's dry density with moist density and moisture content. D is dry density, E is moist density, and C is moisture content. Press enter. E is a moist density. Put down 115 or 115 and then RS. C is moisture content of 10% press 1, 0, and then RS, and that's your dry density, 104.5455. Next, for the void ratio, we use equation number 8. Go back to the equation list by pressing the EQN button right here, and then go to equation number 8. Now equation number 8 is dry density with specific gravity and void ratio. Now the only uh, unknown here is the void ratio. We've already calculated the dry density, specific gravity is given, and we know the unit weight of water which is 62.4 pounds per cubic foot. So we need a void ratio but this is a dry density equation so we need to do is use the solve function by doing that we press the blue arrow and then solve function or solve button and then press V for void ratio now the dry density is already there just press RS and G is the specific gravity which is 2.7 we need to put down the 2.7 and then RS unit weight of water is 62.4 it's already there so just press RS and that's our void ratio 0 0.6115 it's right there so that's a correct answer next porosity use equation number 10 go back to the equation list press EQN and then go to equation number 10 there's equation number 10 porosity void P is the uh, porosity and V is the void ratio now just press enter and it will show you the void ratio of 0.6115 that's what we need so just press RS and that's the uh, porosity of 3.3795 which is correct and finally the degree of saturation 
Use equation number seven. Equation and go to seven. Z is the degree of saturation. C is moisture content. G is specific gravity. And V is void ratio. Just press enter and accept everything. So C, R, S, G, R, S, V. We've already calculated that, so just press R, S. And there you go. That's the um, degree of saturation, 44.1503. It's close enough. So the answer is C. Dry density of 104.5 pounds per cubic foot. Void ratio is 0.61. Porosity is 0.38. And degree of saturation, 45%. So the nearest answer is C. And that's how you use the HP35S calculator with my equations. So don't forget, my book is already available on Amazon.com. Again, it's useful equations for HP35S or HP33S calculator for the civil PE exam. Thanks for watching.